Welcome to Phase 1, the LEARN Methodology. Over the course of this video, we will cover the elements of the LEARN Methodology and how this approach will help you gain the knowledge to be successful in the CH Certification Program. Let's get started. As you go through the CH V12 program, you will gain fundamental knowledge while applying the concepts to extensive hands-on labs, promoting critical thinking through the tactics, techniques, and procedures. The knowledge gained from the learning phase will create more interest in cybersecurity, which can increase the desire to gain more knowledge and promote lifelong learning opportunities that will empower you as a learner to evaluate your competencies through competitions. The hands-on labs will help to ensure that learners are capable of handling a number of threats, remediate attacks, letting employers know you have what it takes as a highly prepared and skilled cybersecurity professional. Let me take you through the 20 modules of CEH that are designed to help you master the foundations of ethical hacking and prepare you to challenge the CEH certification exam. The 20 modules are delivered through a carefully curated training plan and typically spans across five days. In module one, you will start with information that provides you with an introduction to ethical hacking. Module one sets the foundation for the course because as a security and certified ethical hacker, it is critical to know what you are set out to do before conducting any form of ethical hacking. In module two, you will learn about footprinting and reconnaissance. As a cyber professional performing, footprinting and reconnaissance helps you gather information about a potential target. This includes passive and active reconnaissance, which are all critical to know and ensure your organization does not become a target and susceptible to attacks. Web spiders, such as Web Data Extractor and Parse Hub, perform automated searches on the target website and collect specific information, such as employee names and email addresses. Website mirroring is helpful for offline site browsing as it enables an attacker to spend more time in viewing and analyzing the website for vulnerabilities and loopholes. It helps in finding the directory structure and other valuable information from the mirrored copy without multiple requests to the web server. Module 3 provides familiarization with different scanning tools. Knowing how the tools work and what information you can gather will reduce the amount of time you spend on a target while making less noise so you are not detected on a network or target. You will also learn how to detect when someone is scanning your network as you become more familiar with the process. There are a number of tools that are available on the market. In the CHV12 course, you will become very proficient not only with NMAP, but many other tools that are widely used in the industry. Module four, enumeration. As a cyber professional, you need to become familiar with enumeration. Enumeration is extracting usernames, machine names, network resources, shares, and services from a web application, a system, or network. An attacker creates an active connections with the system in the enumeration phase and sends direct queries to gain more information about the target and your network. Vulnerability analysis is critical to determine where an attacker can tap into a network. After scanning the enumeration phases, the attacker uses the information collected to identify vulnerabilities in system security, which helps them exploit the target system. System hacking is one of the most important and sometimes the goal of an attacker. The attacker acquires information through techniques such as footprinting, scanning, enumeration, and vulnerability analysis, and then uses this information to hack the target system. Module seven, malware threats. Knowing how to identify different malware threats is critical. Knowing the differences of Trojans, backdoors, viruses, and worms are essential. Understanding how they work, propagate, or spread on the internet is important to prevent data compromise or an attack. Being able to identify their symptoms and consequences is part of malware analysis. Packet sniffing is a process of monitoring and capturing all data packets passing through a given network using a software application or hardware device. 
This skill is quintessential to actively monitoring an attack or an anomaly on your system. As a cyber professional, it is important to know the different tactics hackers will use to gain information from employees. Most threats take place internally, some unknowingly, while others are intentional. Reducing human vulnerabilities is a way to help protect an organization's resources and assets. Denial of service and distributed denial of service attacks are a major threat to computer networks. These attacks attempt to make a machine or network resource unavailable to its authorized users, typically by overloading them or flooding them with traffic. This is often a diversion, but understanding how hackers use this technique is essential. As a cyber professional, you must be aware of session hijacking. This tactic allows attackers to take over an active session by bypassing the authentication process. Hackers who successfully complete this are granted privileges that can be abused for their gain. As a cybersecurity professional, you will be expected to set up cyber attack countermeasures and defenses. Hackers know in many cases how to evade these defenses, so learning the tactic hackers use to bypass controls will prepare you to validate those controls that are effectively deployed and extremely difficult to bypass. Ethical hackers will be taught the process of hacking web servers to learn the profile and trails left behind by hackers utilizing this technique. While the sophistication of web applications continue to grow, so do their vulnerabilities, misconfigurations, and unintended consequences. Businesses rely on web apps for interactive experiences, while hackers rely on them for a gateway into the network. Learning common exploitation techniques prepares ethical hackers to analyze and protect these systems from exploitation. Forms, login fields, and connected databases are like a playground for hackers. If not protected properly, these input fields are attacks waiting to happen and hackers know it. This section teaches the TTPs of SQL injection as well as the countermeasures for each type of attack. Certified ethical hackers typically evaluate and retest new applications and websites for SQL vulnerabilities on a constant basis, and it is such a common attack. Hackers know with physical proximity, a poorly configured wireless network is an invitation to the network. CH teaches the process of scanning, hacking into wireless networks, and learn to test for rogue access points, weak encryption standards, poor passwords, and a variety of other challenges that expose many organizations to breaches. Mobile devices, smartphones, and other mobile platforms pose inherent risk to any organization. They travel with users connecting to various other networks. Their security architecture is typically not as strong as traditionally controlled machines, making them a lucrative target for attackers. You will learn to test and implement controls to ensure mobile devices are not the weak link in your organization. The majority of Internet of Things devices are still in their infancy stage when it comes to security. From printers to projectors, TVs to Wi-Fi cameras, color-changing light bulbs and smart switches all communicate with TCP IP becoming tenants of the networks they connect to. CEH teaches the methods to test, evaluate, and secure IoT devices, so being an early adapter of new technologies does not mean you are more insecure. From cloud to hybrid, the attack surface has changed. Test and evaluation methods on the new attack surface are critical to ethical hackers. What was once behind the firewall is now prolific and vulnerable. Learning to navigate the new architectures and risks they pose is essential to success as a cyber professional. Cryptography and cryptographic systems help in securing data against interception and compromise during online transmissions. As cyber professionals, it is important to understand what types of cryptography tools are useful and how to apply them. Just as important, you need to identify when unauthorized and encrypted traffic is traversing in your own network or being exfiltrated. 
As you have seen through this video presentation, having a thorough understanding of each of these topics is critical to every organization in protecting their resources. The CEH certification program is undoubtedly the world's foremost ethical hacking program. The CEH is a very lab-intensive program with tremendous focus on the hands-on element. Every module in the CEH V12 certification course have hands-on labs. With over 220 labs conducted in our cyber range environment, you will have the opportunity to practice every learning objective in the course on live machines and vulnerable targets. Preloaded with over 3,500 hacking tools and a variety of operating systems, you will gain unprecedented exposure to and hands-on experience with the most common security tools, latest vulnerabilities, and widely used operating systems in the market. Our range is web accessible, allowing you to study and practice from anywhere with a connection. Are you ready to take the next step to cyber professional training and certification? Enroll in the CHV12 program to embark on a new journey.